Hi. Today I received this problem from Alan um, in Poland. Um, Alan asked me if I could help him to solve this problem. Um, I think he posted this problem um, through my WhatsApp uh, group. You know, I understand perfectly that Alan may not be the only person um, um, struggling how to solve this um, type of equation. So I, I am going to solve it here for everyone to see. You know, sometimes I post uh, some of these problems that people sent uh, through, uh, through inbox or WhatsApp or through Messenger. You know, the, the reality is that when you, when you collect many ideas from people, you will be able to pick um, anyone that works for you uh, that, that is really meaningful. You know, so there is no offense if anyone uh, did not get it right. There shouldn't be any uh, criticism, but we have to understand that there are people around us who are willing to learn, who are learners. So the best we can do for them is to, to show them how to do it, if we really know how to do it, you know. so. That is the reason why most of the time I post them. And if I don't have uh, space, uh, sometimes I post them for, for, for people to work them very fast. And it's not, it does not mean that I didn't solve it for that person. I do get back. So, and you can, you can um, see or uh, hear their feedback. You know, so let's see how we can work on um, this type of problem. Let's see, let, let's see, you know, here we, we have, this is solution. You know, the, the best way to solve this problem is to get, is to understand that we have a zero of the function we, we can we can get a zero um of these functions by trial and error let, let's just say c but usually if you solve this thing you are going to get either one or minus one but let's see let me just try and see if this work okay i'm going to to i'm going to try to say, I'm just trying, try and add. So let's see whether it works. All right, so let's see. Oh, sorry, I think I have a dust here. Okay, yeah, I have a dust. All right, so now I'm just trying these, try and error. All right, I have x minus one all over one into three, that's one bracket, close raised to power three, then minus five, minus five, bracket one again, this one has square. All right, so now I can have uh, minus one, and then I can have plus five. Then, no, I have minus one plus five. That will be equals to, this will be equals to what? This will be equals to one minus five plus four. Oh, wow. So, you can see that if you are able to, to get it this way, let's see what the result will give us. This means that I'm going to have five minus five, which will give us 
zero. Well, but this is not the solution for this problem. Okay, the, because x is a zero of the function in this problem. And uh, x minus one is not, you know, x minus one is not a factor. And, and uh, we can't get the problem here solved. So we will try dividing and see whether it will work. Okay, so let's try. What I'm saying is, let me write this thing down, you can see. I'm saying that, I'm saying that x is a cost one. Mm -hmm. X is a cost one, it's true. It's, it's a zero. It's a zero of the function. Okay, now we have x minus one. X minus one is not, it's not a factor. It's not a factor. And uh, sorry, sorry x minus one is a factor sorry good looking at the problem it's a factor well uh, i think i'm i'm being so fast it's a factor okay and then x minus one i mean x plus one Already we have x minus one here, which is a factor, and x plus one is not a factor. X plus one is not a factor, okay? So, <clears throat> so we are going to try to divide and see whether we can have um a better result okay so let's see let me say dividing we have well for me for me to divide is i'm going to use um a quadratic formula that will help me um bring out this equation number. So let's say this is, this is x raised to the power of two minus four x, then minus five. Now I'm going to use the quadratic formula to be able to solve this problem. So here I'm going to have this minus minus x, right? Minus, well, it's not minus x. We are going to bring this one here. This is x minus one. And then we will have this equation comes down to its position. So the root, the root of this equation will come from the original equation that was here. So let's say I'm going to take, it's just this thing that I'm, this very equation, I'm taking it here in the root. So let's say this is x raised to the power three minus five x minus five x squared, right? This, this is three. This is x raised to power three minus five squared, then plus five. 
All right. So looking at this, you can see that we have, we have arranged our quadratic equation in a position. So let's say this is x, this is from, from the function, you can see that, that we have we have a minus sign here. So minus sign bracket. We are going to introduce a bracket to help us. This is x raised to power three, then minus x raised to power of two. All right, so now we're going to cover the bracket. Please, you try to watch this carefully. You can see what I'm doing. Look at the functions coming down. I have x raised to power three and x raised to power two. I have not touched the, the, I have not touched the numbers yet. All right, so let's have, divide this thing by 4x minus 4x square, then minus minus x. Um, I'm running out of space, so I'm going to continue from here. Okay, so here I have I have minus bracket minus four x minus please this is x square then plus four plus four x all right so if I have plus four x I'm going to close the bracket. All right, so now I will divide it to the, now I am dealing with the numbers. Before I was using the, the letters with coefficients. Now I'm dealing with the numbers. You can see here I will have, I will have minus five X plus five. And then this will be equals to minus bracket minus five, and then plus five. Then if I do this, I'm going to cover my bracket. So now if, if we subtract this, we are going to have zero. Five minus five, we give me zero. And then five minus five, we give me zero, you know. So this problem has a resultant of x squared um, minus, x, uh, minus four x, and then plus, I know, minus five. We need to factorize it. If we factorize this, we are going to have, I'm going to factorize this thing out. This is x squared minus four x then minus five, which is, which is the resultant of the problem. So let's have x squared minus four x minus five, I will have, this will be equals to minus, I mean, sorry, we need to carry the x along. This is x minus five, right here, right here, close, x plus one, which is equals to zero, and then, from here, we'll be able to work the solution out. I have x minus 
five to be equals to zero or x plus one to be equals to zero. You know? So x minus five and uh, x plus one. Let's see. Um x x is equals to five or minus one or x is equals to minus one. Well this is what I arrived on and this is what I believe um is the solution for this problem. I and I, I understand how many people have um issues arriving at the final answer. But this is just it. At first when we started I thought that we were going to arrive at x minus one or x is equals to one. But solving after after solving the whole problem, I realized that the final answer is x equals to five or minus one. That is how mathematics can be by any queer in the world that you solve. I think this will be the best solution for this problem. So, although I have already solved this problem and sent it back to Alan, but I hope that by watching this video, um, many people will have understanding or they might have learned um, or how to work this type of problem. There are other um, there are other problems that I receive, although the the well, I am going to solve all of them. I'm going to solve um, like uh, the other people trying to learn from the basic. I'm going to to continue with those problems um, just in a minute. I just want to take a break and I will be back to solve those problems. Mm. Like I said before, this is a large group. We have those that are learning and those that are expert. So do not criticize, but try to help in the little way that you can. Thank you so much. Um, I'll be back soon.